The Renaissance. The most innovative and hardest to spell period in history. During this era, extraordinary scientific minds broke free from the chains of ignorance. Minds like that of Nicholas Copernicus, who redefined our understanding of the solar system in a flash of inspiration. Actually, Eureka! We aren't at the center of the universe. The Earth revolves around the sun. Copernicus bravely published his theory, despite the inevitable wrath he'd faced from the Catholic Church. Copernicus, we're here to burn you alive. I shall not be silenced. <gasps> Sorry, wrong again. Copernicus himself didn't face any opposition from the church because he worked for the Catholic Church his entire life. Wait, seriously? Copernicus, how's your work going, you old church bureaucrat? Finished early, boss. In fact, I've been working on my astronomy. I have this new theory I'm calling... Don't care! Well, maybe they didn't care at first, but when he published his book, they saw the danger it posed to their theology and they burned him alive, probably, right? Nope. In fact, the book barely showed up on the church's radar. Your Holiness, Copernicus's new book says the Earth revolves around the sun. Who cares? I'm trying to figure out the miracle of how Jesus turned water into wine. But he dedicated the book to you. Oh, what a sweetheart. Copernicus dedicated his book to the Pope? Yep. In fact, the church was so tolerant of Copernicus's ideas that some of his writings were even taught and read at major Catholic universities. Welcome to Not Blasphemy 101. Today we'll be talking about someone the church has absolutely no problem with, Copernicus. It was actually fundamentalist Protestants who eventually rejected Copernicus because his work contradicted passages in the Bible. Wanna know about astronomy? Check the Bible. I can't do fart in church? Bible. Does Copernicus suck? The Bible says yes. And when the Catholic Church saw how the Protestants were gaining influence, they started to get worried. No one wants to be Catholic anymore. What do they have that we don't? Cronuts? Maybe we gotta switch gears on this whole tolerating science thing. And when Galileo started looking through his telescope, adding his observations to Copernicus's theory, that's when the church really freaked out. Now this guy is starting with a telescope? That's it. Let's hate science 10 times more than the Protestants ever did. So the Catholic Church turned from tolerance to suppression, rejecting Copernicus's theory and banning his book. This class is now Blasphemy 101. Please take out your textbook and throw it in the fire. 